When someone brings donuts, it can trigger those cravings for the warm, fluffy pillow donuts just filled with carbs and sugar. It's okay, Homer Simpson, because I got you covered. I'll show you how you can have a jelly-filled donut with less than four grams of carbs. After I showed you how to make the perfect bakery style jelly to fill a jelly filled Danish, I'm sure you're probably expecting a jelly filled donut. Many of you have been loving my keto Krispy Kreme donut recipe, so I thought I'd marry the two. So let's make some donuts so I can show you how to fight those office cravings. Let's start with making the keto donuts. In a large bowl, add two cups of almond flour, half a cup of unflavored zero carb protein powder, two tablespoons of sugar-free sweetener that measures cup for cup like regular sugar, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of xanthan gum, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Then stir together to mix up the dry ingredients. Then we add in a half a cup of melted butter, a quarter cup of sour cream, and one egg. Mix this with an electric mixer until it's smooth and your pastry dough comes together. Since we're making jelly filled donuts and not circle style donuts, we're gonna divide the dough into eight small balls and kind of flatten them down like a bun-like shape. to cooking your donuts, I recommend frying them over baking them in the oven or the air fryer just because it creates this beautiful golden brown crispy outer layer and it helps to retain moisture. I did experiment with trying to bake this in the oven, but it didn't really look like a donut. It just looked like a sorry excuse for a roll. Instead, fry these in avocado oil or just another high temperature cooking oil like lard. Heat the skillet over medium heat and then you know that your dough is hot enough when you throw a little bit of dough in and it starts to sizzle. Clearly my dough was not hot enough yet. Once it is, you're gonna add in your donut and you could actually add several at a time. I just wanted to add one just to kind of test it out and make sure my oil was hot enough. The problem is, is if your oil is too hot, then it's going to burn the outside without cooking the inside. So you're left with a mushy donut and nobody wants that. So ideally it needs to be over medium heat. You wanna cook it until it starts to get golden brown on the bottom and then flip and then cook this side until it's golden brown then transfer it to a paper towel lined plate. While those are cooling, let's make our sugar-free jelly. This is the same recipe that I used for my jelly danishes. Again, I'm starting with the konjac gum powder and that's gonna work as our gel activator. Mix two and a half tablespoons of sugar-free powdered sweetener with a half a teaspoon of the konjac gum then add it to a half a cup of boiling hot water and immediately stir because if you wait too long, that konjac gum is gonna start to clump. And the only way to fix that is to put it in the microwave and heat it up to thin it out and then it will be clump free. Next, we add in some flavoring and I'm making lemon filled jelly donuts. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, a quarter teaspoon of lemon extract, and then a drop of yellow food coloring. You could avoid the food coloring if you're trying to be dye free, but then it'd be clear jelly filled donut, which is a little bit too weird and modern for my taste. Then we just let that sit to thicken a bit. To fill our donuts, you can use a piping bag fit with a tip that looks kind of like this. This is perfect for inserting any sort of filling into a pastry. Kind of looks like I'm gonna inject somebody with some penicillin too. ready for a shot. I used to give vaccines all the time as a pharmacist, so I've been told I have a gentle touch. But this tip is perfect for filling our jelly donuts. Another option for jelly, if you didn't wanna make your own, is to use sugar-free jam. And Chalk Zero now carries one, strawberry sugar-free jam preserves. This stuff is delicious. There's only one gram of net carb per serving, and it makes it really easy if you just want a shortcut for filling your jelly donuts. I'll have it linked down below of where you could get this. And if you use my code KETOFOCUS, you can save 10% off of your order. Give these a final dusting with some sugar-free powdered sugar to complete the look. And now you're ready for donuts with coffee. 
I'm sure you got curious about some of those other recipes I mentioned, like the danishes, the Krispy Kreme donuts, and the Twinkies. We'll click right here to watch how I can make them keto.